how we this thing. Welcome to Cocktails and Covenant. I'm your host, Josh Drake. I'm so excited for this show. I know what you're asking yourself. Um, what am I making or, you know, what am I going to talk about? But I know the main question that you guys are asking yourself, like, Josh, how did your beard look so good? Well, let me take it. Let me take a stroll over here to the good folks over at BHU. Now see, I talked about this last week, about this moisturizer and this oil right here. Folks, we got to understand something. See, the Bible says that your beard get itchy, uh-huh, read. You need to use thine BHU. Uh, see, say it again. I say, uh, when the beard gets dry, uh-huh, you need to use thine be he you. Come on, somebody. Look, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, I need your beard to be soft. Come on, somebody. Hey, I'm gonna look. I'll just, let me let me stop playing. <laughs> uh, I'm burning up. Look, <laughs> God damn it. Look, look, that nigga got a. He really going for it tonight, ain't he? Girl, this boy is in a trench coat. With a scarf on, you sure he all that mentally? Cause I'm looking at this like he in the house though. Look, come look at this. Got a model that bitch. Niggas always gotta hit this hole, bro. You hear me? So I want to reintroduce you guys to Be the Drip. Me and my son's clothing line, Be the Drip clothes. Make sure you get you a Be the Drip shirt or multiple. Okay, they hit right. They feel incredible. I'm not just saying it's because it's mine. Look, shout out to everybody that already got shirts and, and warm-ups. Also give a special, special shout out to our newest sponsor for, for uh, Cocktails and Comedy, the, the amazing people over at Beyond Total Decor. Look, 10% off the first 10 clients this year. They have a great special right now that they're running for Valentine's Day. Guys, where they come through, they, they hit you with the Valentine's Day vibe. We talking about roses, champagne, alcohol, look, cupcakes. Look, look, depending on what package you get, they may even throw in some chocolate covered strawberries for ya. <laughs> Excellent. Looking at it. Look, but no, seriously, check out the people <laughs> at beyondtotaldecor.com, all right? Vibes, yo. Bops. Oh my mama, oh my hood. I look fly, I look good. So guys, I am making a whiskey sour the night. Alright? Whiskey sour. It originated back in like 1926, 19, I mean 1826, 1880, around that time, uh, from Wisconsin. So they wrote an article about this particular drink. Got a lot of buzz. With, as far as, you know, uh, based off the ingredients and, and the flavor and the texture of the of the whiskey sour, it made its way around. Now, over 100 years later, it's still pop. You understand that? So that's what we're making tonight. Look, we're going to go straight into the, the look, <laughs> the popping topics right now, man. So so y'all seen that story about that girl, uh, Maya Pacento, my name. She, she accused Lil' Keon of stealing her phone in the hotel and she wrestling the nigga down and shit. Did y'all see the interview that she had with Gail King? Where she shush, where, where she shush on Gail? Did y'all see that shit? Like, I'm like, look, is this bitch for real? Like, did you just... Okay, Gail, that's enough. That's enough. Did you? Oh, you doing it because you... Oh, you think just because we on video chat, I won't pull up. Look, do you... Uh, look, uh, uh, do you understand? Like, on God. Then she ran from the police. She got DWIs. Like, bro, come on, man. You 22 with all that? I want to take a quick moment of silence. Um, for all you ladies out there that, uh, between today, yesterday, the day before you guys got that devastating news and, um, um, you know, my heart goes out to you guys because, you know, you guys were living in a fantasy land, but more specifically, it's over. I'm speaking about Michael B. Jordan, um, and his confirmed relationship with, with Lori Harvey. I mean, I'm sorry. Can we just, can we just take a quick moment? Is that all right with everybody? Ladies, can I, this is for y'all. I mean, I'm just saying, let's just take a quick, a quick beat, real quick. <clears throat> uh, this is for y'all. Now, damn. Ooh, that 
that was tough. That was a. Uh, <laughs> that was a. Uh, who I know some of y'all was like, yeah. He gone. It's over. <laughs> Look, <laughs> you really thought you had a like an ounce of chance? Look, you got you might go play your scratch off or something. Go win twenty dollars on one of these scratch offs because your chances are much greater. Do you understand? Look, look. Shout out to Lori Harvey though. Like this, she really about that. Uh, think like a man, shit, ain't she? Look, she really about that life. This motherfucker here, yeah, this, look at him. <laughs> she ain't got no matter for no sluts. Shit, the assault. Ooh, on the Capitol, y'all seen that shit? That shit was crazy, huh? First of all, they was just letting these motherfucking hooligans, these thugs, you hear me? Not thugs, but thugs. Squeeze your bottom jaw into your top of your grill and, and, and hit that, try to hit that teeth. Thugs, that was thugs. We want to get in there. Oh, y'all want to get in here? Oh, shit, come on. Let's find out get in. Nah, don't worry about it. Come on, come on. What you got? You got a pipe bomb? Oh, you good? Let me pat you down, mama. Nah, you know what? Don't even worry about it. Come on. Come on, now. I need help climbing the roof of the goddamn... I need help! 4410, I'm going to go help this gentleman try to get up here and get and infiltrate inside of the Capitol. Give me one moment. Like, what the fuck, bro? Are you kidding me right now? I can't even get in the club in Uptown. But they, look, but they let me, look. What is it? What's the name of that racist club in Uptown, bro? I mean, downtown, bro. Kush or some shit. They let white people in there like this Kush lounge around this bitch. You want to get in? Come on in. Ah, sir, sir. That's too much black. Black hat, black shirt, black pants. Let me see your socks. You want to see my socks? Yes, sir. We got to see it. Ah, black socks, yes yeah, sir, we can't, can't. Too much black force for one night, we can't. Look, they real nice when they want you to move to the side. Can you, can you step, can you step over here for us? How's it going, guys? You see your IDs with you? Let me go ahead and get this drink started, man. Look, I know y'all thirsty as well. Let me get some ice. All right. It costs for one and one half part of whiskey. We're using Maker's Denite. And y'all know how I roll if it asks for one and a half or one part. How many are we doing? Download all these different apps and stuff, y'all. Like, like they be promoting the shit out these apps, don't they? So we're gonna use um, one half part of uh, lemon juice, guys. Y'all remember that earning app? Like where if you have a job, you can take out from your check through this app, but the commercial was always shitty. Samantha, you don't get paid till Friday. How can you afford the Starbucks tall vanilla latte? Oh. This, this is three seventy nine. I I got three dollars and seventy nine cents. Are you fucking kidding me right now, Daniel? You don't get paid till next week. How can you put gas in your car? Bitch, I'm just putting eight dollars in here. I got eight dollars. Look, you understand that? Like, what the fuck, bitch? <laughs> Look, I got I got a little bit of money. Like, what the fuck? <coughs> if I was doing that bad, goddamn, I just pull from the four hundred one k around this bitch. Look, if I ain't got eight dollars to put in my gas tank, bro. Look. Have you ever had to pull from your 401k? Boy, you know you, boy, you in a situation in life, ain't it? That's a life situation. Be like, you know what? I need to just pull from my 401k. And then I can just try to pay it. Oh, goddamn. <laughs> look, look, what we do with the money? Stunt, look. All right, simple serve, guys. Half part of simple serve. We're gonna shake this up and we're gonna put it in our wide open glass here. I was at this restaurant the other day. Have you ever had a new waitress, bro? Don't you hate that shit? Look, and then she come with her training and shit? Oh my fucking God. Oh my God. Look, is she new? God damn, she new. She coming with somebody? God damn. <sighs> oh, she gonna fuck my shit up. She gonna fuck it up. Okay. Let's just give her a chance, bro. Give her a chance, bro. How you guys doing? How you guys doing? I'm uh, Samantha, and uh, this is Christine. She's new. Uh, so she's gonna be kind of following me. I'm gonna start it, and then I'm gonna let her finish it, right? Uh, can I start you guys off with waters? Yes, bitch, you know we want waters. Why would you even ask something like that? Like, just bring them bitches. You ain't even got, look. You'll be out with those people that, <laughs> look, that want certain type of water. You guys have crystal sparkling water. Bitch, just get tap water, just get water. Let me get it with no ice, three lemons. Bowl of new waitress and shit. She don't know what she doing. Saying stuff, she ain't got no business saying, look, I, I was at, what was it? Uh, Cafe Brazil, bro. Or the Chiquiles. You hear me? 
A lot of food, a lot of food. She come back. How was everything? How was everything? I was like, Shh. yo, I'm full. I'm gonna be honest with you, I'm full. I, I don't think I can eat this. She gonna tell me, yeah, I don't like the chiquiles either. I usually get um, just the pancakes and eggs. I was like, wait a minute. First of all, um, did you just tell me that you don't like something that I've already ordered and ate? Like, who? That, is that in your manual, bro? Like, just to tell somebody that, <laughs> yeah, I don't like what you ordered. Who does that? Like, first of all, where did I say I didn't like this? We're gonna make sure that's nice and icy, guys. All right, get our strainer. Mm. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. So we got it all. Got it all decked out. Oh, I'm gonna garnish this thing, guys. Okay. I know it don't take this long when you're at the bar. Look, yo, you ever be at the bar and see that bartender? Like he'll have, he'll have like the, the towel somewhere like here or something. You know what I'm saying? And he'll be, be like, look, you'll, you'll come to, <laughs> this is how they do. You'll come to the bar. He'll take that towel. What's going on, boss? Let me get you right. How you guys doing tonight? All right. All right. What can I get for you? Don't wash his hands or nothing. Got you right there. No problem at all. No problem at all. No problem. It's like, bro, wash your motherfucking hands, bro. Oh, we're using the same towel. Just... Get your... Oh, there's something in your glass. I got you. Let me see what you got. Let me see what you got. Nigga, are you using the same towel that you just... Say, bro. <laughs> all right. Let me garnish this thing, man. And I absolutely hate when they give you your cup like this. I right, got you right there. Nigga, did you just put your hand around the rim, bro? You just gonna just... All right, what you need? What you need? What you need? What you need? Bruh, I need a whole new glass, bro. As soon as they put it down, what they do? You see? Madero South, Madero, what's the No, bro, you need to come back to me. Come back here, come back. And again, guys, shout out to our sponsors of this episode, BeHeYou.com. And the good folks over at beyondtotaldecor.com, all right? So we, we're garnishing, setting it on top. Here we go. All right? Looks good. Let's take a drink. Let's see how we did. Fuck with them balls, man. Look, look, love going to the bar. But I hate, you know, when you get too buzzed, fellas. You know when you get too buzzed, you hit a you come home and you hit that, you hit that drunk pee. First of all, niggas stumble all the way in the motherfucking bathroom. Nigga. Look, nigga end up falling asleep on the goddamn. God damn. Come on, Jay. Come on, man. God damn. Bro, every nigga that did that, bro. Look. <laughs> hey, just sidebar. If there are any Instagram or Facebook models that are watching this, um, being flowed out. That's not a thing, by the way. Being flewed out. That's not a that's not a real sentence. I just want to throw that out there. Somebody put on one of their Instagram stories. I'm getting flowed out today. No, no, you're not getting flowed out, and you're not getting flued out either. That's not. Yeah, girl, I be having these nigga flew me out. No, no, that's why you're getting flued out because you not all the way up. Look, you understand? Know have you ever saw your name in somebody else's phone, bro? I'm in my nigga crib, and for some fucking reason, I could not find my phone, bro. Like, bro, bro, call my phone, bro. You know what I'm saying? He called my phone and shit, and you know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just so happened to glance at, the, at his phone and shit, just make sure I could hear it. And I read my name, and I was like, Josh Ban. And I'm still looking for my phone, but I just couldn't get what that meant or why. Josh Ban. 
So I ended up finding my phone and like an hour later, I was like, bro, I ain't, I ain't trying to get all of your business and I ain't tripping the number. Bro, why is my name saved as Josh Ban in your phone, bro? Look, the nigga didn't want to tell me at fair year. He's like, bro, I don't know. What's, what, no, bro, don't hit me with no, I don't know, bro. What you mean? Like, what is Josh Ban, bro? I ain't tripping. It's your phone. That's your business, bro. You know what I'm saying? But I'm just a little curious. Like, what does Josh Ban mean? Like, and the band was in parentheses and shit. Like, what 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 does Josh Bayon mean, bro? That nigga say, bro, you ain't gonna get mad, bro. I said, no, nigga, I don't give a fuck. I'm just, it's just curious, bro. What does Josh Bayon mean? He said, bro, Bayon mean bitch ass nigga, bro. Bro, what the fuck, bro? Bitch ass nigga. Josh, bitch ass, I'm a bitch ass nigga. He's like, no, nah, bro, it ain't even like that, bro. No, bro. Hey, that's just how we talk to each other, bro. We, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, no, nah, bro. I don't, I don't, I don't talk to people like that, my nigga. Like, I know we cool, but like, bro, nah, I don't remember ever saying them shit like that. Like, yeah, bro, we talk to each other like that all the time. I was like, for real? He was like, yeah. I'm like, all right, bro, fuck. <laughs> you my nigga, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> look, look at this bitch ass nigga. I'm no. Oh, I hear it now. I heard. Yeah, we do. Yeah, bitch ass nigga. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I heard. I heard now. You right. <laughs> but hey, man, thank you guys so much for joining me. This this is a really, really good cocktail. Um, I'm very impressed with this. Never made it. Never. I don't really, really even drink it. But now that I have, I definitely will be drinking these more. Um, so guys, again, make sure you share this video for me. All right, so we can continue to build a brand, continue to build this experience, right? Again, thank you to my sponsors of this particular episode, BEU.com, the good folks over at BeyondTotalDecor.com. Make sure you check them out, guys. Go to their website right now. If you're on your laptop, your tablet, or your phone, go check them out. Swear BEU.com. We'll see you guys on next Monday night. Again, thank you so much. My name is Josh Drake. Let's go.